¿Qué? 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 ¿Qué?
the world best athletes all be there. Uh, looking at China, uh, Korea, all the best athletes will be there. So it's not going to be an easy competition at all. Now the beach volleyball team is made of Kelvin Kabu and Eric Chachu. The do believe they have done everything right to participate well. Their coach, Moro Mumuni, reaffirms that. Now they are the second in Africa. Wow. So with that, I know we are not thinking about only Africa. We want to move Africa to there to show them that, yeah, we can also do what they've been doing upon all the facilities that they have. We can also do what they've been doing over there. So gold, silver or bronze? Yeah, we are for the gold, but you know, yeah, it's, it's not easy, but our aim is the gold. Promising Ghanaian swimmer Baker Jackson is the other athlete making Team Ghana contingent for the Games. Now, President of the Ghana Olympic Committee, Ben Nunu Mensa, does not want us to put pressure on the team. In terms of our logistics, in terms of the preparation, I think that uh, the GOC has worked together with the ministry and these athletes are okay and they are ready to go. But I don't also want us to put too much pressure on them, expecting them to come home with gold medals and all the medals. Because to be fair to them, how much have we invested in them? These boys, young boys and girls, are ready to die for our country. And I'm sure based on that commitment, based on that willpower to do a little bit for our country, they will come back uh, with medals. But uh, let's not push them too much. Um, this is, uh, for most of them, this is their first uh, Olympics. Apart from Abeku, you know, the, the volleyball team were in Bahamas, the short class. And I wouldn't be surprised if the, the volleyball, Abeku, and then the weightlifter comes home, back home with medals. But let's, let's not put too much pressure on them. I know they're going to do it for, the, for Ghana, but uh, let's not put too much pressure on them. Let's do rugby now. And president of Ghana Rugby, Heaven Mensa, is confident the team selected for the upcoming Rugby Men's Sevens Tournament scheduled in Tunisia next week will do well. Now the Ghana Eagles will leave for Tunisia tomorrow for the championship. Ghana would need to beat Uganda or Senegal in order to proceed to the quarter-final playoffs. Herbert Mensah believes they have assembled the best team for the championship. The official uh, list of players going to Tunisia based on uh, the work over the last four months. The fact of the matter is the criteria is very simple. We had a commitment to training over the four months. There are many people who came, and there are many people who just decided they didn't want to do it. There were others who came right at the end. Consideration has been given to those who have followed the program. Part of the program was about skill set as well as preparation for sevens. Many have improved markedly over the period, so we have to look at that in combination. And let's do the Europa League now. And Chelsea manager Mauricio Sarri says he wants to see Alvaro Morata cry very often. <laughs> really? After his goal saw of Hungarian champions Vidi in the Europa League. Hey, Alvaro Morata. Uh, Charlie, what can we do to Alvaro Morata? Maybe we should pinch him. Charlie, no, this or guy. <laughs> Empty po hey, Alvaro Morata. God. <laughs> to think about it, you know, you know those Chelsea goals that are more difficult to miss uh, than to score. Uh, Alvaro Morata, we'll give it to Liverpool. Okay, let me. Hey, 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 hey. Morata, <laughs> we'll donate him back to Chelsea. <laughs> hey, Morata, hey, oh my God. Anyway, he's got a goal, but Charlie, the chances he has been missing. Maybe the Alvaro has expired. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's hear from Sari. Let's hear from Sari. It has been very hard. In the first half, uh, we had uh, opportunities for scoring. We didn't do it. And so the second half uh, has been very hard. But I think it was important, three points. We have created uh, a lot of uh, goal opportunities, but we have uh, considered uh, two, three opportunities to the opponents. And I think that uh, we have to do better. Something good is happening in us now. And I don't think, Daniel, you have noticed. They are winning games. Back to back to back to back to back. Well, they have won eight games on the row, in, I mean, in a row. And the last one was last night. Three goals to nail against Scarabag. Of course, with a teenager, and also with scoring in there. Unai Emery is a happy man now. Each match is, is very important for, for, for show us uh, and give them or take uh, responsibility, take uh, the confidence and, uh, and take rhythm for, for, for the players. And each match is one exam for, for them. I am very happy how they are responding on the, on the pitch. Good games to look forward to this weekend, including the EPL's blockbuster between Liverpool and Manchester City. Wow, there's a huge preview of the locker room at 1.10pm. Now, though, Moses Yeboah has a wrap of key games uh, to come around Europe.
In the Spanish La Liga, relieved Ernesto Valverde will count on their masterclass performance in the Champions League as a tonic when Barcelona welcome Villarreal to the Camp Nou on Sunday. But under Fajil and Lepetegui, we hope Real Madrid will turn the corner in their clash away to Deportivo Alaves. Juventus, who have not dropped points so far, travel to Udinese in the Italian Serie A on Saturday. Thomas Tuchel's flying start to life in the French League I have seen PSG demolish teams with panache. And this weekend, Olympic Lyon could be their next victim when both clash at the Parc de Prince. Contrastingly, Niko Kovac and Bayern Munich know they must get back to winning ways after uncharacteristic three-game winless run in all competitions. But Saturday's guest Borussia Mönchengladbach will have ambitions of their own and it's a top-of-the-table clash as unbeaten Liverpool entertain unbeaten Man City who sit top of the table on goal difference going into the weekend. And of course, there is a wonderful Formula 1 preview to look ahead to as well because, look, um, all the drivers will be in Japan for the Japanese Grand Prix. Now, let's end this. The International Olympic Committee has told the amateur box and governing body that it must solve its governance issues by next month or risk being thrown out of the Olympics in Tokyo 2020. Amateur boxing expert Steve Barnes says this could have an effect on the sport at all levels. If we go back in history, the last 60 or so years, there have just been dozens and dozens of Olympic gold medalists who have ruled in all different weight divisions. I can't imagine Looking back on a, a boxing history in 30 years, 10 years or 20 years time and not having the previous 20 years full of Olympic champions. That would leave a vast gap in the sport that I've been covering for 35 years. It would be a disaster. OK, so uh, that's it for the Joy Sports Centre. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to hang out tonight. And, and, exactly. and, and, and there are a lot of things we have to say there. And as we can, as we know, the the hangout does not have a regular person. Uh -huh. So every Friday you can expect someone exciting. Tonight is going to be Ani Osabute and Ani Osabute. Yes, and <laughs> Nana Redamwa joining us on the hangout, and you can expect something hanging, amazing. Hanging out, hanging out. George, were you dancing? Oh, no. I can't start dancing now. <laughs> How many hours to hang out? And you want me to start dancing now? So we're going to be friend. dancing tonight during the uh, hangouts when Ani and Nana Red and will take over Joy FM studios. I like those. Wow. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Ani and Nana is going to be amazing. Okay. So let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. All right. George, you know the question that we started that I asked you yesterday? Um, yes. Well, yes. Yes, the story about the question about corruption, yeah, whether it's yeah. our leaders or it's the system. Yeah. Let's turn it back on the people. Really. Uh -huh. Do you think that our state of the nation is as a result of the people hmm. or of the leadership? <laughs> this one is it's deep, but I think it's, it's of the people. Really? Yeah. Why? I think it's us because you are you are part of us before you become a leader. So, so those what things you that, learn those things people. that we fail to correct, you know, deep in school and whilst we are growing up and at the university, that's what we go up there to do. Because you think about politics at the, at the university level or politics even at the SSS or SHS, it's, it's not different from what happens up there. So we need to start changing things right from, from, the, bottom. from the bottom when you're born. I mean, I think it's units all making it up there. So Charlie, please, give you some deep guy. let's deal with people <laughs> first. <laughs> you're a very deep guy. So that's the question we're asking today again. Why? Because today we are being joined by our texters, our contributors throughout the week. Uh, we are being joined that's by great. listeners who that's have been great. contributing throughout the week. That's great. That's and great. they are taking over the studios today. Mm, mm. Expect to see who joins us. We want you to answer the question for us ourselves. Do you think that the state of our nation today is as a result of people? Oh, or is yeah, that a real thought? Yeah. As a, as, as a result, result of, of the leaders. leaders. Because, because the leaders are truly informed by yeah, because what some they people know, say that they know about the people. That, you see, because some will say that, you see, even what happens in SHS, yeah. it's influenced by these leaders. Yeah. Because you see political parties yeah. influencing university politics yeah, as well. That's right. So, um, it's because the you see, chicken well, and the egg situation. Any leader has a perfect idea of what happens down here and they know how we feel. So, they try to go about it that You way, know what? Let you know, me so. officially invite George Adu Jr. to join the panel. <laughs> <laughs> hey, have a super morning, eh? I will. We'll have a super morning. You have a super morning as well. But it's not just about the state of our nation. Do you think we?